I really think that Stanford has some kind of special sauce, and you know, Silicon Valley is a great example of how uh, the research and education um, and technology have really come out of the university setting. There's something really special about being at Stanford. It's one of the few uh, institutions where your medical school, your hospital, and your university are all in the same campus. Um, plus the nice weather makes it so easy to go outside and really interact with people. It's been tremendously important to have that uh, sort of cross-fertilization between you know bench and bedside. People talk about it all the time, but it's not always so easy to make it happen. So I spend 20 of my 20% uh, of my time practicing, but the rest of the time is running a research program. Um, and I think Stanford is one of the great places for physician scientists because of that close interaction. Um, but you know, for uh, even pragmatic things, your clinic is around the corner from your lab, uh, just makes your day much easier to run back and forth. Um, but I think even more importantly, the opportunity to collaborate with people who span the spectrum from very basic science all the way to you know, clinical uh, investigation and trials uh, is a real opportunity. Having found some findings in mice that osteoblasts play an important role in regulating blood cell production, one of my first priorities was to try to determine whether the same holds true for humans. So since I've been at Stanford, I've been able to collaborate with um, clinical trial investigators who have cohorts of patients um, in which you know, both their blood counts and bone density have been measured. With the you know, recent uh, advances in genomics and uh, high throughput sequencing and all these amazing uh, technologies, uh, there's a real you know, opportunity. It's never been a better time to do translational research. Um, and I think physician scientists are going to be key to that. So here at Stanford, we're really committed to bringing uh, you know, everybody together, the scientists and the physicians, um, but specifically physicians who are interested in investigation. Um, and providing them with the training and the opportunities for networking and collaboration to really uh, make that a vibrant career choice. <laughs>